All right, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron. We are playing Millennium Dawn. You guys are going to ask what happened to the Germany series, and that's a good question. Um, it kind of ended in a way. I may come back to it at a future date, but I wanted to try Millennium Dawn because that's one of my most favorite series, and apparently you guys like it the most too. Uh, we're playing as France. Our country is going to turn back into Napoleonic times. We're going to form Napoleon's France. Uh, and basically our whole goal out of that is, um, retake European lands, we're gonna go monarchist, we're gonna get the fuck out of NATO, and we're gonna shut down the UK. Oh, people are messaging me on Discord. I'm not a big fan of the PRC, so we might, uh... Yeah, fuck that. And then Palestine. Oh, I see they edited this too. East Jerusalem. Western Palestine. Oh, so they uh they did some work here. I like it. Eastern Palestine. Israel as a whole. So Middle East is going to be a shit show, we already know that. I think I started already justifying, yeah, I'm justifying against Marutania. And everyone's going to be asking, why would you do that? Well, the thing with Marutania is it's a closer port. Um... It's French colonial land. And, I mean, I don't think there's any resources, but it's just an island that I need. So, eventually I'll have to invade, uh, Suriname, too. So, I still have 200 and something days on that. If I start justifying now, take 430 days. So it'd actually be better if I start justifying sooner than rather than later. Bunch of submarines. Zone maritime. The hell's French Fleet One? China is moving towards democracy. Let's go, monarchist. So the AI usually, uh, in this mod, usually tends for Italy to go by itself. And UK to go stay in the EU, even though, <clears throat> even though they left it. Oh, Jesus Christ, my throat is killing me. Forgot they also added focus trees for, like, Ethiopia and shit, too.
So I don't know who else has focus trees, but did they add one for India yet? Oh, something big is happening. Georgia has a claim on Chechnya. What the fuck? Wait. Oh. They went Soviet. Oh. They went back to the Soviet Union. What the hell? I'm so confused what just happened. Well, now that Russia went communist, this could only mean one thing. Going back to the USSR, baby. What the hell? Why? Why would you do this? Maybe going monarchist, but I'm definitely... You're just fine against Bulgaria. You're just fine on Paraguay. You're just fine on Western Sahara. What is going on? They'll bring Algeria into a war. So you're justifying on this guy for this piece of land that you have a claim on. Let's upgrade our shit. And then you probably going for this which you have a claim on this is getting really weird let's go to limited conscription actually uh, we need something for factories Yeah. So we're building shit tons of civilian factories. Then once we build up all of our oil deposits, we're gonna invest in military. You don't need the radar station at St. Pierre just yet. United States giving legitimacy to a number of complaints about the political process. The ruling Democratic Party have announced that the political system would be thoroughly reformed in order to rejuvenate the economy and also the two ruling parties. Complicency is the death of democracy put in a groundbreaking speech in the national democratic process. That's fucking messed up. France has been unhappy with the heartless and degenerate policies endorsed in the way French has made a clear way new authoritarian streak in terms of policies and rhetoric. Promise that it will lead to fraternity between the brothers and sisters under the French flag, but international observers are skeptical in the world. In the words of an Irish journalist, a democracy should not need a dictator to become more democratic. National Fellowship. We're going to go with the Bonaparte. Turn of the King. So we need to do these four focuses to get the monarchist ship.
What? Vietnam is just one against Laos. Why? Conquer Laos. Path of democratic progress. I guess communism is a thing of the past. Good, one less war. It's 2,000, can't do anything there. Quite shocking, I have now signed a military pact, the 11th and Alliance, after negotiations over the, neither, blah, 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 expect or even prefer that possibility, but now a new military alliance, a new owner of the Golan Heights, Syria, forces the world to adapt to the new situation. What the fuck? So a nationalist and a social democrat. What the fuck is going on? So now there's this alliance. You're going democratic. You're also justifying here. Don't tell me you went democratic. Nope, you're you can still go path for quality. <clears throat> I guess they extended the focus tree. It didn't used to always start with the Gronzi offensive. Chechnya is still there. Islamist is now like a legit threat. Let's see how many. I know there's going to be. Yeah, so Somalia. Oh, Sudan is Islamist too. Did not know that. So this is the first war upcoming. Operation Napoleon. It's not in a faction Belgium, so Belgium's gonna leave. Belgium's gotta be democratic. I gotta be monarchist. Germany's gotta be monarchist, and the Netherlands gotta be monarchist. So this is basically just splitting up. Okay. Ban in the West. Who called it? Italy is leaving NATO. I think this would be a great first target, too, after we do our little. Let's see. National borders of France. Togo's just fine against Benin. Switzerland is just fine on Liechtenstein. What the hell? The Togo Benin War, something that I did not expect. Togo has a claim on Benin. Togo has a claim on Benin. Since when? This isn't a what the fuck? Yeah, look at the fucking blues magician over here. And then this guy, I don't even know if that's a guy or a girl. Fucking got a creepy ass smile. Libertarianism. If you want to abandon the West, that's fine, Italy, but, uh. I'm gonna fuck you in the butt. 
That's that's not something that I take lightly. Jackass betraying his own country. What? Holy shit. Okay. So we need a lot. We do mean a lot of crap. So we need light tank. Light tank. We need anti air. Anti tank. Artillery. Motorized rocket artillery. Mechanized. No, that's that's Gen Two light mechanized. All right, we'll end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to see more hearts firing. So, Alex, this has been Retender Gaming.